Hey guys, it's Mike coming to you from the backyard at Oasis here in sunny Dallas, Texas. Cheers everyone. It is a hot, hot day. Uh, it is 8 o'clock at night and it's just a little under 100 degrees. 40% humidity according to this little thing I have hanging up here. Cheers. How about that intro? Um, I'm trying to get pro here. Uh, that intro cost me $11 today on the internet. The internet is an amazing place for $11. Somebody made that for me. It's pretty awesome. Anyways, so I'm here to talk about cameras, not about my intros and not to drink beer in front of you on a video. I want to talk to you about a really cool digital camera, an 11 year old digital camera at this point, 2019. This thing was made in 2008 and it still has legs and it wasn't the greatest one that ever was made when it came out but it's still a good camera you can pick one up on ebay i checked just before this video i found several of them on ebay for 40 bucks uh it's a great camera so let's talk about it nikon cool pics p80 okay so Check this thing out. It's ugly as sin. I hate the way this thing looks. Uh, it's a fake DSLR looking camera, but it's a 10.1 uh, megapixel. It's uh, got VR in it. It's got ISO 6400, so I wouldn't push this camera that far. It's got an 18x uh, zoom lens on it. So let's turn this thing on and learn a little bit about it. On button is up here. Let's turn that on. Yep. So that's one of the things I don't like about it is this lens cap kind of sucks. It kind of just falls off. But anyways, camera comes out, shoots that thing out there, makes it a little bit bigger uh, to carry. It's Here's a really cool feature of something that a lot of cameras miss out on is they miss out on the opportunity of laying this thing flat on the surface. This thing does have a tripod mount, but check out what's on the bottom of this lens. Let's see if I can get it where you can see it, maybe against my forehead. You can see this little, this little notch thing that comes and sticks out here right so that makes it easy so you just set it down on a flat surface and take a photo with it they people don't think about that when they're designing these cameras they thought about it on this one and well it's cool so anyways here's the here's the viewfinder so here's a picture in picture of me um, what's interesting is this top view through here doesn't view through to anything it's an electronic viewfinder it's an old school electronic viewfinder, so it's kind of ugly. Um, and as you notice, just having this sitting here, it timed out for a second, so I had to turn it back on. But to activate this, unlike modern cameras, a lot of modern cameras where you can put it up to your eye and it has a sensor and it'll flick it on, you actually have to click this button here. And when you do that, then you can see through the electronic viewfinder. Well, that kind of sucks because nothing on here will work anymore so let's see if we can get the electronic viewfinder to show up so uh, yeah well that sucks that's not gonna work I've tried that on other cameras and it didn't work on these videos so anyways uh, but then still the still the, the display all the settings and all the other things that come on they're right there so when you hit the display button that's all happening there well it's kind of an awkward motion to try to do that with your thumb because this really isn't that kind of camera so when you take pictures, most people just use it, I would imagine would use it on this setting here. Um, you've got your play button here, so you can play photos that have been taken on it. Um, I don't have a memory card in here, so that's not gonna help. Uh, it's got flash setting, you just push up here for flash, it's got your flower for focal length, um, your exposure compensation, it's got a timer for you, uh, your trash to delete pictures, and your menu button. I really wish that modern digital cameras were this simple in terms of menu systems and you didn't have 400,000 freaking options. This would be just so nice to just take a picture like this. But anyways, alas. Um, so here's the other one, this exposure compensation here uh, and it shows it in real time. So you can actually see, hopefully maybe, yeah, maybe not, uh, it's not going to do it for me. Anyways, uh, I got it in the, oh, I got it in the wrong mode. I got it in auto mode. 
What else is cool is it's got manual, aperture, uh, sport, uh, priority. It's got auto, full auto without flash, so it just is a full auto. This is what's a cool feature here. It's got a sport feature, it's got a scene, it's got a movie set thing. It's got like a setup, I don't know what the setup thing does. Um, oh, setup lets you set up the camera, put the time and so forth. So that when you import these images into Lightroom like I did recently and I couldn't find them, it's because the memory card defaulted back to sometime in 1800, um, December 31st of 1800 or some crazy time like that. So they were way at the bottom. Anyways, so it's important to set those things up when you pull a digital camera out of the box and charge it up for the first time. Oftentimes you forget about that. Set the time on this so when you import the images you can see them. So. Anyways, back to this camera. Video on this, it does okay, man. It's a, it's a great little camera for video. Um, the microphone is here. You can maybe kind of sort of see it. There's a little bit of a little holes. It's typical, it's real tinny. When you when you listen to the camera or the, the audio through that, it's real tinny sounding. Um, it's got a little focus assist light here. Here's what's cool, flash. This is how you operate the flash. This is how you turn on the flash. Boom, there it is, now it's on, okay? Um, and it's not gonna shoot a picture because, oh, it did, but it didn't need a flash. So, let's see if it's got an on, look at that, it's got an onboard memory. So there is a picture of the table and you can see behind the scenes setup here, my beer, my table, my barbecue grill, the fence, some other stuff. Anyways, and that's how you turn the flash back off. So the flash stays off that way. That's a really cool little feature, um, and it's pretty impressive. This is a, um, when you, right here on the side, is a little focus, um, plus or minus on there, so you can uh, adjust the focus of the EVF on here, which is nice. Um, this uses, it has a, uh, a wide feature, it has a telephoto zoom feature, so it gets out there pretty pretty good, um, you know. I mean, that's about how big that thing is. Uh, I kind of have a big hand, so um, I need to zoom that thing back in. But that's it, man. This camera, it still has really good legs. It takes really good photos. Um, so let's talk about this other piece of this thing. It takes a regular SD card, nothing crazy. It takes one of these. Uh, well, this is an aftermarket battery, but it takes a battery like this. Um, there's a Nikon one that I came with it when I got it from the person I got it from, and they provided that one as well. Uh, the chargers for it are typical Nikon little chargers. Again, this is great. Uh, I didn't talk about the lens, so let me talk about this lens real quick. This lens is a 2.8 to 4.5 lens. That's a really good performing lens for low light and for natural light situations. Uh, I wouldn't really necessarily rely on this to be your greatest camera, but here's what's cool. And it comes with a little cool strap. Here's what's really awesome. I'm getting close to the camera because I want you guys to really hear this. This is what's cool about this camera. I'm going to show you pictures at the end of this, example photos that were taken of it with this camera by my five-year-old son. And that's what's cool about this camera. It looks like daddy's big expensive camera. It costs 40 bucks and well, let's not kid ourselves, that's that's not chump change for some folks, but in a camera world, 40 bucks is cheap. Okay? Um, even electronics, like you would your your cell phone costs a thousand dollars. And I see people handing their kids their cell phone all the time to play Minecraft or do whatever it is that they want to preoccupy them with at dinner so they aren't paying attention to them. This was 40 bucks, okay? If my son takes this and sticks his fingers on the lens, which he's done, if he drops it, which he's done, if he can't get the lens cap to go back on here and stay on here and he throws it in his backpack and we go camping, which we did last weekend, and he takes a bunch of pictures with it, and he shoots video with it and other things and he can play it back on here and watch it and enjoy it and have a good laugh with him and his sister and enjoy himself that is what these old cameras are for 
So don't think about these as your primary, especially in the digital ones, don't be thinking about these as like your primary, your cameras for you. Use these as learning and teaching tools for kids to get them excited about photography. Um, that's what I do with these things, man. These, these old digital cameras, because there's instant gratification. I like to let them shoot with film cameras. The, let's just not kid ourselves. The kids know how to shoot with a film camera. But it's not as fun for them because they don't have that instant gratification of did they do something right or did they do something wrong? Did the thing that they just took a picture of... I'll be <laughs> I had to sort through 300 pictures of my son's toys. So he was very proud of the fact that he has toys. And so he took this camera and took a picture of, like, I think every single toy that he owns and his sister owns. And took some videos, some different things, and took, you know, just fun shots around the house of different stuff. Just honestly, and it's kind of like touching for me, I, I think a lot of it was mimicking me, right? And watching me run around and take photos and seeing how much enjoyment I get out of it. And then they already get, they get, they started picking it up. They don't really have to do a lot with these things to pick them up. Here's what's cool about this. And I know this seems like this is a big clunky camera and you might want to get your kid like a really small, like point and shoot. So I had, my daughter has a small um, Canon or Nikon uh, point and shoot camera. It's really thin. I mean, it's tiny, tiny little camera. But she has very, she has She's eight. She plays the piano. She has amazing dexterity with her fingers, so she can hold on to some really thin piece of machinery and push a button at the same time. My son, who's five, getting close to being six, he puts his big paw in here, and then there's a big button to push, and there's a big button to push to turn it on, and there's something really big for him to hold on to that he can't take his hand because most kids do this and they do like this with the cameras. They put their hands across the lenses because it's a natural motion to want to hold it and hold it tight and easy. And so it's it's like an easy hold for them. So anyways, back to the back to the story of this. These big big kind of clunky cameras, this camera specifically, this P80, man, if you got a small kid, get this camera for them and let them have it. Let them run around with it. It looks expensive. I actually had some people be like, "Oh, oh my god, like your son just dropped your camera, and I was like, oh, that's his camera. And they're like, what, what? And I'm like, yeah, that's his camera, that's not my camera. That, that's his, he can drop it if he wants to. I mean, let's not get frivolous about it, but if he accidentally drops it, whatever, who cares, right? It's not a big deal. So, anyways, it's a tool, it's for him to learn on, and it takes cool pictures. It's still got legs, 2008, man. This thing was made in freaking 2008, and it still takes decent photos. Decent photos, guys. I mean, you're not gonna blow them up and save them, but you can share them on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. I mean, that's where most people share their stuff anyways. You get in these pixel wars with all these other cameras, and for what, right? You're spending a bunch of money on something you don't really need. So, anyways, enough of my soapbox and mushy stuff about teaching kids. But buy one of these for your kid, man. Get them out there. Stupid lens cap. This lens cap is a piece of crap. <laughs> it doesn't want to stay on there. Uh, I'm constantly knocking it off. So is my kid. The other shitty thing about that is you can't buy... It doesn't have a ring in here to put a, um, a filter that I've found will fit this. And so I can't put a filter on here. Um, I don't know. I'll look harder. I, I just kind of half-ass looked for a filter. I'll look harder for an actual filter, maybe put it on there and we'll see. Because it's just, I don't know, you can't really see it probably, but I mean, his fingers have been all over it and, you know, you can see it in the pictures. But, you know, like I said, they're his pictures. He's, we're not going to keep them. I mean, I'll keep a few of them just for nostalgia, but anyways. So. That's a good beer. Thanks for watching. Um. Thanks for being a part of the community. Thanks for the likes and the comments and the feedback. Again, I'm going to show you some pictures at the end of this. And those pictures were pictures my son took. So, good times, man. A lot of fun stuff. Um, it's really noisy here in summer in Texas. If you've never been to Texas in the summer, you hear all those things. 
uh, cicadas, locusts, uh, bugs, all kinds of stuff at dusk. I'm getting eat up by mosquitoes, so I'm gonna head in here in a second. And um, my dog's over there eating a bug now, or a frog. Hopefully it's a bug and not a frog. So, you know, get out, shoot some film, buy some junky cameras, go to garage sales, pick these things up, get one of these things. Cool Picks P90, P90. You don't have to get the P, uh, I'm sorry, P80. You don't even have to get the P90. They have a P90. Get the P80. It's cheaper. It's 40 bucks on eBay. Buy one of those. Have a good time with your kids. Uh, let them get out and shoot with it. You know, um, teach them a few thing about a few things about cameras and and how much fun it is. So, thanks again. You guys be awesome. Get out there and go shoot some film. Talk to you later.